Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name is Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Scorpio, for the week of December 19th, right into Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy holidays. Whatever it is you celebrate, Scorpio, just know that I'm celebrating with you. Take time to breathe out. Ooh, take time to breathe out, Scorpio. Get it out. Release it. And you and your loved ones are safe. That's the new moon in Cancer. And a personal issue reaches resolution. The full moon in Cancer. <laughs> right, I like the way this is starting out. What kind of animal spirit guide is walking with Scorpio spirit? Ooh, I saw the bee. What kind of animal spirit? Oh, look at how hard you've been working, Scorpio. The otter, the lizard, and the tiger. Oh my, you have your eye on the prize. Working really, really hard at something, shedding your skin, becoming this new creator. Thinking outside the box too with that otter, thinking of different ways to, oh, I saw the tarantula there and the octopus on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, very, very busy. Thinking outside the box, thinking of different ways you can do things rather than just doing the same thing. A Zen Tarot card. What kind of Zen Tarot card is up in the ether for Scorpio? Silence. Oh, I love that card. And ordinariness and the dream. Oh my, Scorpio. All right, let's see. Let's see what's on your mind, Scorpio. What are you thinking about? What are you thinking about? What is on Scorpio's mind? Spirit, what's on Scorpio's mind? Oh my God, right? Creating, creating something new, brand new for yourself. That's why it makes you feel a little uncomfortable, like you're shedding a skin of some kind. Oh, the healing card, the Four of Swords. After a little time out, Scorpio's taking a little time out. Yes, with the Queen of Pentacles. Absolutely taking time to really process things and breathe it out and release it and really heal up. You're in healing mode here, Scorpio. So I love that. I love that. That always leads to something great. Queen of Pentacles. You're just sitting in Mother Nature, really soaking it in, really absorbing Mother Earth Gaia there. Knight of Pentacles, slow moving energy, but very, very solid when it comes to money. So these ideas, these new ideas that you are bringing out of the ether here are definitely going to pay off. You've got momentum following you. You've got money following you. So that's beautiful. What else? What else for Scorpio? Anything else in the mind space for Scorpio? Oh my. Too many cards. I see the Ten of Swords. I'm going to pull that one out because you are walking away. These cards are all about moving on and taking that break that you need, taking that breather, Scorpio. It's been really cloudy and hard for you to see the end result here. It's hard for you to see any of your hard work paying off. But there's offers of love coming into you, maybe offers from the workplace because of the Eight of Pentacles there. Beautiful. Beautiful, Scorpio. Let's see what you're feeling. Let's see what's in your heart space. Oh, Three of Pentacles. I like that. All right. What are you feeling? What's in Scorpio's heart space, spirit? What is Scorpio feeling? Oh, I love that. The sun comes out. You have so many cards that want to jump out here, Scorpio. Look at this with the high priestess and the sun in the heart space. Four of Pentacles, you've been really holding on, and now you're ready to merge. You're ready to merge energies and to reconnect and to open up again, open up your heart again. You've been holding on to your emotions for quite some time. You haven't really been revealing how you're feeling here, but you're feeling pretty good coming into the week here. You're feeling really happy and secure, open to receiving something about the full moon. You might uh, have some full moon wishes out there that are waiting to come true, and that's exactly what's going to happen here. You've got to merge of the energies here, a partnership. Anything else in the heart space for Scorpio? Oh, look at this with the three of swords under the ten of swords. 
betrayal and backstabbing is what you're walking away from. This distrust of others, this don't break my heart again, don't hurt me again. So you've really been healing from some betrayal here, feeling betrayed, feeling left out, and a little dark period here that you're walking away from. So that's beautiful. I love to see you walking away from this, really letting it go now and gaining your power back. Scorpio, this is quite profound for you because you're walking away, you're letting it go, you're taking the time to breathe out. What's in your foundation, Scorpio? What is this all about? What is in Scorpio's foundation, Spirit? There it is again, the Knight of Cups. <coughs> it could be in the areas of partnership that you're feeling, you were feeling left out or betrayed or no one was seeing you or no one was hearing you. So that is really what you're walking away from. You're walking into this solo mode, into this, I don't care. I can do this on my own. I've got this. And as soon as we do that, as soon as we let go of the idea that we need any certain thing to make us happy, Scorpio, that's exactly when it comes in. That's when you get your wishes fulfilled and the partnership you want and the communication you want. When you just stop trying to predict the outcome, trying to uh, control it all. Yes, with the devil in your foundation, of course, that's true. And the star to massive healing from that negativity, that uh, negative thinking that it never works out for me, or it's just not my turn, or uh, I'll be happy when. There's always something holding you back here, something that feels toxic because it, it's just harboring the negative. It's just harboring the betrayal and what has happened in the past here. So a real freeing for you, Scorpio, a real letting go of anything that was toxic in your life, real boundaries now of knowing what you were tolerate, what you will tolerate and what you will no longer tolerate. How beautiful is that? I really love this new boundary of yours, this new um, way of thinking about yourself and your worthiness. I really love that. Yes, now you're the queen of swords. Your sword is down. You're contemplating. You're planning. You're looking to your future. You see how the queen of swords is looking to her future here and uh, letting go of that negativity, letting go of the devil energy here, of the temptation to go back into the negative here. So, wow, I love this. I love this. Getting out of the negative for good. You've already visited it, Scorpio. It's time to say goodbye. Pack your bag. Say goodbye to the negative and walk away. Anything else in the foundation for Scorpio spirit? Oh, I saw the hermit. Anything else in the foundation for Scorpio? Five of Pentacles. There's that lack mentality or that uh, nobody wants to be around me. It's just that negative thinking that I'm all alone here. Nobody cares. Nobody wants to merge energies with me. It's just in your mind. Scorpio, the Three of Swords is all about being up in your head, doubting yourself and falling back into that old pattern of how you've always done things. So as soon as somebody says something or somebody does something, it triggers you and like, here we go again. Here we go again. I can never escape this pattern here. I can never escape this cycle here. And that's exactly what's keeping you in the cycle here. It's in your thoughts. It's in your uh, perception of how things are going or trying to control the outcome here because you don't want to get hurt again. So it's time to let go and let God here, Scorpio, let God handle this. <laughs> Look at, at the bottom of the deck, the 10 of pentacles, the abundance, the happy home, the security, the, all of your dreams coming true here, feeling very much a part of something here. So those days of loneliness, those days of feeling alone here are over Scorpio. What are people thinking about you, Scorpio? Oh, they want to make you offers with the page of cups. They want to reveal how they're feeling about you they're thinking about it. It's on their mind. What else in the mind space? The hanged man. Look at that. They've been healing as well. Healing for a very long time. It's like there's always something to heal <laughs> in the people around you. It's like a support group that keeps talking about the same issues here. And so nothing ever gets resolved because they keep going back. King of Pentacles on your Queen of Pentacles. So that's a nice card to come out. Somebody really stepping up, taking control of their own destiny here, understanding that destiny is not set in stone, that anything can change in any given moment. And it does. 
Five of Pentacles are living in that lack of mentality as well, feeling very much alone. They do feel like you're a partner in this or that you've been on this road with them, uh, that you understand that feeling of being alone here. So they're, you're like a magnet to them. Three of Wands, I like that. They're preparing for their future now. They've got plans going now. Now they're done with the dark as well. They've completed that cycle and they're done. Yeah, they're walking away from it in their heart space. Even though they've put in so much time, effort, energy into filling those cups, they're just walking away by the light of the moon now. They're not letting anything stop them now. Neither are you with that sun card, so that's beautiful. There's a sense, a real sense of moving on here, having closure in a lot of these relationships, right? Moving on with the six of swords, that is the moving on card. So even in their heart, they're willing to move on. They're really done with holding themselves back here and they want something new in their life. So they're going to get it. They're looking, actively seeking something new in their life. <coughs> Excuse me, Scorpio. And the Page of Pentacles. More offers coming to you, Scorpio. More offers. And you're sitting in the kind of apathetic mode under the Four of Pentacles here, under the Page of Pentacles. So as they're making you offers, you're like, yeah, but I don't care now. It's too late. It's too late. As they're trying to apologize. <laughs> Ace of Cups, your your people, your your group here, your friendship group here is overflowing with emotion for you. You're very much needed in this group or in this field or whatever it is that you're doing. People very much need you to be a part of it. They want you to be a part of it. They're coming out of some confusion themselves. Scorpio, I feel like you're this healer that helps people rise above the dark, rise above the angst because you've been through it yourself. So you kind of have these tips and tricks that you're sharing with others and that really helps to lift their their uh, spirit here it's beautiful it's so beautiful i love how you take control of this of this part of your life i love that because you're actively uplifting <laughs> the hermit the hermit card they do feel very much alone in this life they they feel like they've been on this path for a very long time with the hanged man there and the hermit says they feel like this is a solo journey for them Page of Wands, look at this, more offers coming toward you. They'll look at these offers. You've got the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, and the Page of Cups here. These are offers coming to you from people around you, from people that really care about you and want to show you how much they appreciate you. So that is just lovely. You have all of these offers coming in, all of these people trying to share with you how they feel about you, what you mean to them. Oh, yeah, with the Four of Wands and the King of Wands. Wow, real inspired action coming to you, Scorpio. And closure, closure. There's a finish line here. There's a, a sense of you did it. So the journey is over. That alone journey is over. That solo journey is over for you. So beautiful. I love that. And the wheel of fortune comes out for them. So a whole change of cycle now. Now they've managed to change it. They've managed to get out of the dark, get out of the negativity. And you helped them with that. That's so beautiful. You helped them to merge their energies, to bring the light in with the dark and shine the light on the dark here. So, wow, you're a master healer here, Scorpio. I just love that. And Ten of Cups, somebody wanting to make this happy home with you, make your wishes come true here with the Nine of Cups. Wow. That is quite beautiful, Scorpio. All right, let's get you an angel oracle card because we did not take much time here, but it seems very clear that you are coming out of a solo journey here, reconnecting with people in your life, reconnecting with relationships in your life, getting closure on a lot of relationships in your life. So I love that, especially at the end of the year. So you can go into 23 with this kind of clean heart, this kind of clean slate listen let's get you an angel oracle card scorpio quiet your mind beloved one and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desires manifestation a quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly this is our request to you listen yeah it is a time for silence scorpio it is a time to not really reveal how you're feeling to not get into any heated debates or discussions here. It's time to pull your energy back like the Four of Swords says here and heal, heal up here because you've got a big new cycle coming for you. And it is all about listening and receiving and processing here for you. So I absolutely love this, Scorpio. What a beautiful reading. 
If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. I hope you have a fantastical week, Scorpio. It looks like you're coming to an end on a lot of things here. You're closing out a lot of things here. So I love that for December. 2023 is going to be fantastical for you. And you got a lot of dreams coming true here. So I love that. Look at that on the bottom of the deck. There's nothing to worry about. It says you are safe and this situation is under the perfect control of divine pro providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. Yeah, you can't control this one, Scorpio. You've got to let it go. You've got to let spirit handle this. Like I said, let go and let God. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I will definitely tune in with you soon.